Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathLog here. I hope you guys are doing well. This lesson is evaluating algebraic expressions with formulas. Okay, this is 7.5 uh, in, our, in our textbook that we're following. And here's our common core strand. And our question is, how do we evaluate algebraic expressions or formula? Okay, so here we go. Michelle is saving uh, money to buy a dress that costs a doll, uh, $120. So she starts with $25, and each week she saves $9. So the expression 25 plus 9W, the W stands for weeks, gives the amounts that Michelle will save after W weeks right there, okay? So which operation does the expression 25 plus 9W include? Okay, well, it's obvious there's a plus sign right here, so addition, but 9W also is multiplication. So multiplication and addition. And so which order should we perform the operations? Well, order of operations always says we have to do multiplication first. So we'll do multiplication first, and then we'll do the addition second right there, okay? So how much money will uh, Michelle have uh, saved after eight weeks? Okay, so we're going to evaluate that expression for W equals eight, okay? So we'll just substitute in eight in for W. Here we go. And, if, and then remember, we got to do the multiplication first, nine times eight. And if you don't know what nine times eight is, well, nine's really close to a nice... A compatible number which is 10 so 9 is the same as 10 minus 1 and we can do the distributive trick right here so uh, 8 times 10 is 80 and then 8 times 1 is 8 so we can subtract 80 minus 8 and that gives us 72 which is the same as 9 times 8 if you forgot okay all right so then we'll go ahead and add 25 plus 72 so uh, 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 plus 7 is 9, so we get $97. So, uh, so after um, uh, 8 weeks, she will have saved $97. Okay, so let's go ahead and after how many weeks will Michelle have saved enough money to buy her dress? Okay, so let's make a table to find the week uh, uh, when the amount she saved is at least $120. It won't be exactly $120. At least I don't think it will. Uh, but uh, let's see when it will be at least. Okay, remember after eight weeks uh, she saved $97. So after nine weeks we're going to go ahead and plug in. Remember the expression is 25 plus 9W. So after uh, W equals 9 it's going to be 25 plus 9 times W which is 9 times 9. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 9 times 9 and that's going to give us 81. Okay, so 25 plus 81 is 106. So that's not enough. So let's try 10 weeks. So we're going to go ahead and plug in 10 in for W. 25 plus 9W is 25 plus 9 times 10. So we're going to multiply 9 times 10 first. That gives us 90. Okay, so 90 plus 25 is 115. Still not enough. Okay, so it looks like it's going to be 11 weeks. Let's see. So 9 times 11, we have to do that first. Okay, so 9 times 11 is 99. And 25 plus 99, well, this is just one under 100, and 100 plus 25 is 125, so one less than that would be 124 right there. So, so Michelle will have saved enough money for the dress after 11 weeks, okay? In fact, she'll have $4 to spare, okay? Go buy a nice ice cream or something. Okay, so exam, uh, so evaluate the expression uh, for the given values of the variables, and this is example one. Okay, so 4 times m minus 8 divided by 3 <clears throat> when m equals 14. So we're going to go ahead and substitute in 14 right there. So 14 minus 8 right there, okay? Then we'll go ahead and perform uh, the order of operations. says do the parentheses first. So 14 minus 8 is 6. And then, and then we multiply from left to right, okay? Multiply or divide. Now, if division came first, I would divide first. But here we multiply first because that's what comes from left to right. So 4 times 6 is 24. And then we go ahead and do 24 divided by 3 is uh, 8. Okay. All right. So let's try this one. 3 times uh, y squared plus 2. And that's in parentheses. So this uh, actually says 3 times the quantity y squared plus 2. And we're going to plug in y equals 4 right there. Okay. So let's go ahead and substitute in 4 in for the y. Okay. So then we'll follow the order of operations. Okay, so it says uh, we do the parentheses first, and inside the parentheses, we have to do the 4 squared. Okay, so 4 squared is 16, 4 times 4. 
And then we do 16 plus 2 is 18, and now we can multiply 3 times 18, okay? And if you don't know what 3 times 18 is, 18 is close to 20. 20 minus 2 is 18, so 3 times 20 is 60, and then 3 times 2 is 6, so 60 minus 6 is 54, okay? And that's the same uh, as 3 times 18 right there. Just showing you some tricks. All right, so here we go. Uh, the perimeter, the formula for P equals 2L plus 2W gives the perimeter of a rectangle uh, with the length L and the width W. So what is the perimeter of a rectangle, rectangular vegetable garden that has a length of 2.4 meters and width of 1.2 meters? So we'll write the expression for the perimeter of the rectangle, 2L plus 2W right there. So then we just substitute in 2.4 for L. And then we're going to substitute in uh, 1.2 for, for the width right there for W. Okay, so there we go. And now we do multiply from left to right. So we're going to multiply these two numbers first. So 2 times 2.4 is 4.8. And then now we have to do 2 times 1.2. We have to multiply before we can add. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 2 times 1.2 is uh, 2.4 so now we can go ahead and add 4.8 plus 2.4 gives us 7.2 all right so the perimeter of the vegetable garden is going to be 7.2 meters right there all right you guys hope that makes sense and take care